Good day folks, in today's video we're going to take a look at some motor caps for the DJI Mavic Mini and kind of take a look at whether they're a good or a bad idea. Now one thing with the Mavic Mini, when you take a look here, you can see that the motors are fully open at the top. When we compare that to something like the Spark here, you can see how it's all covered at the top there. So the purpose of these motor caps are basically just to seal that up to keep dust, debris, moisture out of it. But do they come with any kind of negative side effects? Does it cause the motors to overheat? Does it cause unstable flight? I'm not sure what the answer is as I've never used them before, but we're going to do some tests to see how they perform. So let's just jump right in and get at it. Now I've never used these before, so I am kind of curious to see if there is going to be any negative side effects. I can really see the benefit of them. With these motors being opened, if you're taking off and landing in dusty environments, you could get a lot of debris built up in there over time. For somebody like myself who lives in Canada, quite often I fly in the winter, and quite often there's light flurries floating around. You could get some snowflakes in there that will then obviously turn the moisture right away. So having motor caps on there I could see being a big benefit as well. But like I said, is it going to have any negative side effects? Could it cause the motors to overheat? Could it cause the drone to vibrate. We're going to find that out and uh, run some tests here. Now if you own the Paradonafi, maybe you might already be familiar with these as the Paradonafi has kind of a similar setup and uh, you can get motor caps for it as well. Now you can get these in a couple different colors. You can see here we have red and black. I've got the black set. So let's just go ahead, we'll get them installed and then we'll start running some tests. It doesn't really say on the box here what they are, but you can tell that uh, they are a metal just by hearing them jingling around there. Now, uh, to put these on, we are going to have to take all the propellers off. These propellers are not as easy as some of the other DJI drones because you have to actually take screws out on these ones, uh, but it's not too big of a task. You will need to use the screwdriver that comes with the Mavic Mini. There's two types of propellers installed on the Mavic Mini. If you can see here, I'll show you this arm here, you can see these propellers back here have a little dash right there around the screw and you can also see here on the arm there's a dash there so when you take them off and you put them back on you want to make sure you put propellers with a dash on arms with a dash you'll actually notice too that the propellers do have an extra line the ones that have the dash on it if we compare it to one over on this side you can see there's no dash on the arm and there's no dash there on the propeller and they only have a single stripe at the tip of the propeller there and the way they work is that these propellers on this side and these propellers on this side are the exact same and vice versa the motor caps here are all identical, so you can put them on any motor that you wish. So I'm going to go ahead and start replacing them here, and I'll probably fast forward through this part. You can use any screwdriver you want. Uh, this one here doesn't have the best grip on it. It's a little tiny screwdriver. As long as you get the right size tip, uh, it may work a lot quicker for you. So you can see here I've got the propellers off the first motor. We're going to take our first cap and just place it over top. All you're going to do is line up the holes where the propellers screw into just on the holes on the cap there. Now we're just going to line up a propeller in the first hole there. You want to make sure the screws are in nice and snug, but you don't want to over tighten them. So there we go there. You can see we have our first cap installed. So I'm just going to go ahead here and install the rest of the caps on the three remaining motors. So as you can see here, I've got the motor caps installed on all four units. So now we're going to do a couple tests with it. The first one we're going to be doing is just a simple hover test. We're going to let it hover for 20 minutes and see if there's any temperature difference in the motors. I've already done a control test where I hovered it for 20 minutes without the motor caps. And then we'll do another test with the motor caps installed and we'll see if there's any temperature difference. The other thing we're going to be looking for is vibration and if the drone drifts around anymore while it's trying to hold in place. And I'm going to be doing it indoors so that way it doesn't have the assistance of GPS to hold it in place. It's going to be using the vision sensors on the bottom only. So with all that said let's just go ahead and get that started so as you can see here I've got the drone hovering we're gonna let it hover here for about 20 minutes and uh, then take the temperature so right now I don't have the motor caps installed we're just gonna let it hover let it get warm and then do a temperature comparison so the drone has been hovering here for about 20 minutes and the first thing I just must say is that while the thing is stable indoors it hasn't moved an inch since I first launched it. So I'm just gonna do a couple quick checks here with a temperature gun. So the back motors, looking at 25 degrees there. 26. These things aren't 100% accurate, but uh, you can see there it kind of bounces around a little bit but floats between 25 to 27 degrees. Let's do a front motor check here. You can see it runs a little bit cooler, 22 degrees. 23. 23. 
tree. So that kind of gives us a good baseline after we install the motor caps. We're gonna see if there's any major changes. So now I've been hovering here for about 20 minutes with the motor caps on, and I haven't noticed any kind of difference in the way it hovers. It's uh, just as stable, hasn't moved, there's no vibrations. Uh, so let's just do a quick temperature test here. We got 25 on the back. We got 23 on the front. So yeah, as you can see after doing that hovering test, there was really no difference in temperature. Uh, there was some minor fluctuation, but that's probably to do with the inaccuracy of those guns. The drone hovered just as well when the motor caps were installed than when they weren't installed. There was no vibrations and it wasn't drifting around at all. I also took it for a quick flight in my backyard and I didn't notice any other differences. There was no jello in the video and I didn't really notice any major loss in battery time. So for my few basic tests, I can't really see any negative side effects of having these motor caps installed. Whether they're worth putting on there or not, that's up to the individual user, uh, but they are kind of a nice touch to keep your motor sealed up there as you can see. I think I'm going to leave mine on permanently and just run my Mavic Mini with them on at all times. Now a couple things I do want to mention here before I go, uh, using these motor caps could potentially void your warranty. I cannot say one way or the other but it is something to keep in mind. The other thing is if you've purchased it because you want your drone to be under 249 grams so you don't have to adhere to some of the regulations that are in different countries, using these motor caps is going to put you over that weight limit so that is something to keep in mind as well. Well folks that's basically it for my video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one